We are back at the 1984 mobile home property and today is a special day because we are starting the kitchen demolition. So this is the last room in the entire home that needs to be gutted. It's a big room. And it's a nasty room. I'll take you on a tour, I'll show you what it looks like and then we're going to start gutting. So the first thing we're going to work on is just getting the cabinets out of the way. We'll see how much progress we make with that and then we'll go from there. All right, here's the kitchen. It doesn't look bad from far away, but up close it's pretty gross. The sink is filthy. Dishwasher is no good. Built-in oven is outdated and dirty. So as you can see, it's not the nicest kitchen in the world. There's nothing worth salvaging in here except for maybe this cooktop. I'll try to take this out because it's actually pretty clean. Everything else, its life has been spent. It's spent decades being used. I just want to put this all up front. We're not saving it. We're throwing it in the dumpster. I know some people get bothered by that. It's just the way it is. There's nothing in this kitchen that I want to keep. And there's nothing in this kitchen that I want to give to anybody else. Let me show you before I forget, we also have this big fridge. Well, not too big, but big for us. And um, as you can see, it's leaning back. I think it's sagging into the floor. It's been there a long time and just sagging back. So we got to get that out of there.
We got most of the kitchen gutted and as you can see, I am sweating because with this whole mobile home gut, there's no insulation, it's a metal box and it's just warm in here. And when you're working, you heat up, especially today, you, can, you might hear it, it's raining on and off. So it's rainy and warm and humid. You just can't sweat, but we still made huge progress. It was a slow start, but after I got into it, I said, I'm just wasting time. Let's destroy this stuff. You can see it's looking good. The only thing left is the refrigerator, one cabinet, and this little wall partition. I think I'm gonna tackle this and then say we're done for today. I'm gonna to go home, get cleaned up, and relax. And we'll do the walls and roof another day. But look at this. It is really opening up.
Done. We're done with this stage of this project. And as you can see, the kitchen is opened up and pretty nasty. There was definitely some hidden rot above the cabinets and some hidden bugs underneath the cabinets and <laughs> just all kinds of nastiness. We actually went shopping and picked up a couple of new tools that we'll be showing you guys in a future video. One of them is a floor scraper because we have a nasty vinyl floor that's glued down underneath sticky tiles. So double layer. Ooh. And honestly, I'm just not in the mood for that right now. So we're going to do all that later. In fact, we'll probably wait again until we get all the walls and ceiling gutted so that we can do a final sweep of the mess and do the scraping at the end. We try to leave the floors to be the last thing that we touch. It just makes it easier to get more debris out of here without filthying up our plywood that's underneath. Yeah. Because we want to keep as much of the original floor as possible. Now, some people might wonder what we do with all the appliances and metal and stuff like that that we pull out of the house. Well, we actually don't throw those in the dumpster. We bring those home with us in the bus. We set them on the side of the road and we put a free sign out and we let people take it and people take it quickly. Yeah. So there's people out there, you guys know, that do scrapping. And I know that we could just bring it to the scrap yard ourselves and get some money. But we just prefer to let somebody else do it. It helps them out. It helps us out. Everybody's happy. It's just a quick, easy way to get rid of those old metal junks that you don't know what to do with. How do you feel about this house so far? I don't know. Cool. So I guess that's all we have for now. Thanks for watching. And until next time, take care. See you.